Rooney and Kennan stay, but same idea here for the Orn. It won't be as kind of a matchup to Odo Omni in that top side, but I mean, look at the team fight you have in Excel right now. I mean, that's the first time that we've seen Odo running the Orn this summer. He has played it there. And with Yikes uh, back and push into the river. Engage from Mickey, followed up by that Arctic Assault. Here comes Beach at level 5. Patrick forced to run for his life. First blood secured by Excel. Now they turn their attention to Yike and a very quick pause. The fact that Excel would cause and start to make their way towards the Dragon Pit. You can see on the minimap, Yike now stepping towards the river, uh, the middle lane. Mickey flanking here as well. Caps level 6 and chasing with that Spirit Rush. Not a lot of support for now. No ultimate for Yike either. Abadaga continues to chase away. Yike hops over the wall, manages to run into Abadaga, and the kill is secured. We're seeing exactly how these two teams like to play. Excel, go for dragons, they force dragons so they can force fights, whereas G2, much higher priority on the Rift Heralds. They want to try and use this to snowball gold, and then they tend to take... A lot of respect, it does make sense. A lot of pressure with the... Summer Championship title on the line, broken blade though, now in danger. All right, gets knocked into the air, held in place by Peach Flash, still available to him. The slice and the dice was used for a second or two. Damage in reply, does he have enough to take out Odo? And the answer is no, no. Peach manages to secure the second kill for XL. A good bounce back from Broken Blade, and all of a sudden G2 trying to set up either a dive to Abba or just for the plates. The prison connects the crash down from Mickey, and an immediate reply. Here comes Patrick. Peach throws down the nature's grasp. Long range engage. Mickey, the first target, rooted up, held in place, will be taken down by Patrick. The tower stands as well as the rest of G2 running for their life for the hunt. Here comes the TP from Caps. Patrick running for his life. Flashing cleanse needed. If he gets caught out, no feather storm either. Yike steps forward, Arctic Assault, eight seconds before the prison is available to him. Caps goes in, here comes Abba, brings the hammer down, but Hunt Summer's on the board. Got himself one, got himself two. And that was forced to flash for his life as Caps chases for the third and final Spirit Rush. Looking for that, John connects, and the kill is secured once more by Caps. Beautiful punish from G2. That Managing to corral XL, getting themselves the kills, getting themselves the dragon. Now Peach, has he overstepped, held into place, Charm locked down. And that was very unfortunate, Parthing, another kill for now. And I think more importantly, 3-0-3 for Caps Azari, 3-0-1 for Sama on that Kaiser. Tower security shield was dropped instantly, as you mentioned, Dagda. So this should get the boop and take a look. Hans Summer as well, making his way up. So Patrick and Limit stick around a little too long. Do G2 fancy a fight? The tower's going to fall. It's XL on the hunt. All of a sudden, potential engages. Yeah, but Aga being kind of forced into staying mid means that he can't match anyone in the side lane. So everything that you need is going to be a case of controlling it, but now that line is broken. Teleport from Broken Blade. Will be forced to run for now, but on the back end, Hans Sam engages on to Odo. For the Forge Guard, not even viable, not even useful. Kill secured by Caps, turning their attention over to Limit. Broken Blade finally run down by the members of XL, but the Spirit Rush forward. Charm sidestep, but the Arctic Assault is not. It's a triple, it's a quadra, it's G2 destroying XL. As Caps now turns his attention over to Abadage, looking for that ace, looking for that fifth and final kill, and it is secured by Hans Sarries. This third tower now will fall in the top lane. But I think when you're looking at Caps, right, if he really feels like he's on form today, last time, game two against Excel, probably the dodgy Lucian performance of Steve in a while was not a pleasant experience, but now G2 firing all cylinders by Caps, they are leading the hell. Right, trying to pull Excel towards them. I go down in that bottom lane, teleport available to him, but the engage has already happened. The teleport's gonna be too late as Patrick is shut down in his jungle limit to follow a G2 running amok. Patrick doesn't get to play the game, and Caps is gonna make sure of it. A double kill for the Renekton. His ulto is still called out. Odo goes back in. He's trying to finally something back. Yike stays alive long enough to run into the corner and avoid all of the damage. XL are ace. This is a massive performance from G2. The speed of their engage is also what. Also now, Caps having that ultimate available, he can hop over walls. So XL are completely abandoning mid lane in favor of the spot side turret. That's not the way you want to play this level. A couple of numbers trying to catch up to Caps. Special Prison connects the charm as well. Goodbye, Abadage. Five versus four now. G2 still got that Baron. And now they're in an even more dire situation. Yike PC needs to be checked, man. That is not normal. He is just connecting every single ultimate onto Abadage's face. And now they found Peach. Let's engage from Nature's Grasp. An ultimate trying to be backed up by Brawl, but is not 
finding the targets. There's no damage from Amadage, and Patrick is taken down once more. A couple more kills landed in Hans Summer's back pockets. Zoto's running for his life. Four members of G2 taking him out inside the base. And at 24 minutes with 21 kills, it has been domination for G2. Are they gonna go for it? Amadagi's just respawned. No, Caps misses it. By the charm, the Nexus turret, the first has about fallen. Number two is being focused by the minions, and Abba is currently drawing members of G2. The Nexus turret will fall. The Nexus will be the next target. And G2 Esports dominate game one in the Summer Split Finals.